Dear brothers and sisters in Christ, as we prepare to celebrate Easter this year, the entire situation with the coronavirus reminds me so much about the lives of the first witnesses to the resurrection. Overwhelmed, confused, filled with fear, full of doubt and disbelief. The disciples were afraid because Jesus had died on the cross and his body was placed in a tomb. They thought that the story ended on that said note as their hopes and expectations were dashed. And they were even more terrified on the first day of the week. According to the Gospels, some of their members learned that the tomb of Jesus was empty. They lost all sense of hope. They felt forgotten and abandoned. Perhaps just like us and the entire situation with the coronavirus. The sense of fear, social distancing, lockdown to the extent that we cannot even be together to celebrate one of the most beautiful days of the year. Will we ever see the end of this? This time of social lockdown, social distancing, also offers us a great opportunity for reflection. Many look at their own lives and the different places where we happen to find ourselves on our journey of faith. The outbreak of the virus caught us by a major surprise and caused all of us a major setback. Some of us were distanced from the Lord and each other for all sorts of reasons. And for whatever reason now, we long to be with each other. Perhaps our hearts even burn within us for the love of Jesus and others, as they were missing from our lives. I believe, dear friends, that this situation offers a great meaning of the resurrection. Even in the midst of some dark times when we feel that the Lord is far away or even or we run from Him, Jesus appears to us with this most profound greeting, especially now. Peace be with you. Peace is the gift that we all long to experience, especially during these trying times. At the Easter morning, peace offers us a shelter, not in the sense of a place, but rather a person, the risen Lord, our Savior, Jesus Christ. And this is the reason for our joy this morning. With the risen Lord, there is no room for doubt and sadness, no room for social distancing and isolation, but rather the fullness of life in the power of the risen Lord. My friends, the Easter story is a personal breakthrough from a sense of hopelessness to an encounter that changes everything. Were not our hearts burning when they were walking on and listening to the word of Jesus on the road? Is there is an encounter with the risen Lord who walks with us, talks with us, and extends an invitation to stop and to share a meal. It is an encounter with the Lord who overcomes distances, space, and location. It is an encounter with Jesus 
who reveals himself to us just as he did to the first disciples in the breaking of the bread. And this is an amazing truth that recognizing the resurrected moment that offers us profound hope and trust. It is so powerful that ought to compel us, just as it did for the early disciples, to run back to our families, to our friends, our loved ones, our modern-day Jerusalem, to tell the good news that Jesus Christ is indeed risen. I think when we let go of fear, anxiety, frustrations, doubts, and allow that peace of the risen Lord to reign in our hearts, our lives, our families, our communities, I believe that only then we will be able to perceive and to experience the entire crisis differently. The power of the resurrection can set us totally free. And with that freedom, we will be able to bring harmony into our lives, rediscover the gift that we are, and the true love we have for God and for one another. That freedom will bring us to satisfy our longings for our loved ones and genuinely care for those who are in need. We will be able to dream again, dream the most powerful dreams that God has for us, for our families, for our community, dreams to become the best version of ourselves, to grow in faith, to love God and one another, dreams that will turn, that we will turn into realities as we will go and let the whole world know the genius of Catholic faith and the power of the risen Lord. Dear friends, I also want to express my deepest appreciation for your most generous and sacrificial support, your love and dedication for our St. Luke Parish. I am most grateful and humbled. Your witness shines forth with an amazing radiance of the loving power of God. So, on this blessed celebration of Easter, on behalf of Father Xavier, our deacons, missionary sisters of the Holy Family, and the entire parish staff, we wish you indeed the most beautiful Easter. May the love of God that rose Jesus from the tomb fill your hearts with his presence. Please share our wishes and prayers with your families, your friends, loved ones, and all, and all who need that assurance of God's love in these challenging times. Brothers and sisters, may the risen Lord bless you and keep you. May he shine his face upon you, Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. Friends, the Lord is risen. He is risen indeed. Alleluia, Alleluia.